So to find the resonance of SO4 two minus, you need to find the Lewis structure of SO4 two minus. So that's what I did. I just put the um, I just put the valence electrons because both sulfur and oxygen have six valence electrons, and they'll equal thirty. And then when you have a negative charge, when it's two minus, you have two extra electrons. So you just add that to become thirty-two total electrons. So you always put the least electronegative atom in the middle and then you surround it with oxygens uh, and then you can count them up and it will equal 32 and you want to minimize charges so uh, here we have three three of them that have no charge and only two oxygens have a negative charge so it fits everything and then um, sulfur can have a maximum of six uh, bonds so it does one two three four five six and so it fits all the uh, um, rules for stability, we minimize charges, we have um, zero formal charges on here, uh, we're not uh, breaking the octet rule in any case. So now since we have a really st stable structure, all we're going to do is uh, find different ways of changing these bonds. So therefore we can see how many total structures SO4 2 minus has. So all I'm going to do is just move them to different places. So for example here, all I did was um, change it from the bond here to here and the bond here to here, right? So it's like just shifting it upwards. And then um, I encourage you to go um, uh, figure out how many different ways you can orient these and then come back and watch the video to see all of them. So now moving on, uh, we have, all I did here was just keep this the same and then move the double bond here. Um, that's that's different from all three, right? Is this this one's different from all three, and then uh, continuing on, um, keep this the same, move this downward, and uh, so this one's different from all the the previous ones, and then just keep doing that. So we have we I can move this one here, and this one here, so that makes it different, and then finally we have the double bond from here and here to these two locations. So all these um, are the same except the double bonds are in different locations which makes it uh, six different resin structures in total. So zooming out uh, we'll show you all six. Um, so in, in, uh, in conclusion SO4 2 minus has six resin structures and so for this problem all you need to know is the initial structure and then just uh, mix and match the double bonds to get all six structures that you need to answer the problem. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.